Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, let, uh, I'm going to take a look at the blur CSS function on MDN. So I will, I used blur before. Uh, I was asked to create this blurred effect uh, for an image because it's kind of uh, the cover image for uh, a comic book. Um, there's no special background for this, so we are asked to use the cover itself, blurred one, as the background for that image. Well, the effect is pretty common in those like uh, movie collections, right? Okay, so let's jump straight into this uh, ex explanation. So blur applies a Gaussian blur, so I don't know what the Gaussian blur is, maybe some kind of uh, algorithms, I don't know what the detail is, but it makes images blurry. Okay, default is uh, not default, if you use z zero, it means no blur. Okay, this parameter is about the radius of the blur. Okay, the bigger it will be blurry. Okay, this is blur, this is blurry. It's kind of like uh, what we said before, it's about the background, uh, a backdrop footer. There's also blur there. Okay, uh, in this demo, the, uh, the transition property is added, I think. You see this nice transitioning effect. So, Okay, this is the example element blur, and there should be a transition all. Okay, cool. So this is it, make it blur. So this is a demo, just a demo, but I would say the iCloud example is the best showcase for this one. I, 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 this is the best example I've ever met on a real uh, production. Let's see, this is the uh, login screen for the iCloud. If I uh, zoom in, zoom out, yeah, you see this blurry background. It's not an image, I think. Uh, let's inspect. Okay, so the log login form is um, an iframe. Uh huh. And then this is this uh, bootstrap mock springboard view. Okay, actually there is this uh, blur. You see that blur. 48.233334 pixel. Mm -hmm. This is kind of weird. This, I think this is calculated by uh, JavaScript, right? So there's something weird about this. If this is from CSS, there must be some integer or dot. X, uh, uh, only one digit in the fraction part. Um, okay. So if we change a little bit, the height changes, but the blur value doesn't change. Anyway, if we toggle off the filter, wow, this is what we get. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool, right? If we remove the logging form, you will see that uh, these other are these a uh, color block. I would say. Okay, let's take a look. At the spring cotton child view. This is child views. This is home logging view. Uh huh. This is container view. If I remove it, where is it? Ah, it's in this view. I'm sorry. So this is uh, actually the div with position absolute, and this is absolute with the background color. Okay, this is the color. Um, and the other is like the. Oh, the styles is injected right uh, uh, besides the uh, the HTML element, and you see we have this. Uh, okay, this this is the app. You see there is uh, variations on the color and also variations on the uh, the the size of the text, right? Okay, this is a uh, let's say um, with twenty four pixel. This is. 20, uh, 51 pixel. There's no font, but I don't know what, know why they are setting the font family here. Anyway, um, maybe this is a, maybe this is just a dynamic, dynamically, uh, generated. So they are creating this background image with a real diff and uh, with this nice blur effect. Uh, okay, where is it? Okay, here. Filter. 
blur. Cool, so now we have this like uh, glass effect. I recently heard a word called glass morphism. It's kind of like this. Mm -hmm. Is there any other properties on, on this? I see something about the filter contrast. Okay, this is also has the filter. Let's remove it. Oh, if I toggle the filter here, what it would be? Um, here. You see the color becomes a little uh, vivid, right? More vivid. Yeah. Brightness. Yeah, they're changing the... Uh, they're changing the color for the separate apps and added a filter uh, to the whole canvas. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Filter, if I remove the filter, yeah, if I remove it, mm, yeah, use brightness and contrast. Mm -hmm. But it's, the color is already very simple. There's no like complex colors here. I don't see how uh, this is helping us. Maybe we could just uh, modify the colors directly. Anyway. Anyway, so that's all for this iCloud uh, logging, logging screen. Uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to close it. So that's it. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.